Welcome, you want to know what VPN works with Netflix in 2020, then you found the right video. I'm going to show you how it works and I'm quite sure it will also work in the future. So probably you, you know the problem that um, in many countries compared to the US Netflix, there's much less content on Netflix, although you pay almost the same price. So here I have a comparison between the European Union. Well, actually I chose Portugal as an example. So in the US you have 4,400 movies. In Portugal you only have 540 and some of those are probably also Portuguese movies and Portuguese TV shows, by the way. In the US you have 1,330 TV shows in Portugal you have 220 and part of this is probably also Portuguese TV shows. So in the US you have eight times more movies in your Netflix account and you also have six times more TV shows, not counting the differences between the TV shows and uh, the movies. So uh, in the specific countries you usually also have specific country content. So you will find much, much more in the US, especially if you're an expat, you probably prefer to watch the US stuff instead of the Portuguese Netflix. That's another point I wanted to make. Netflix has exclusive content in different countries. So there's a lot of content which is only available in the US. There's some content which is only available in the UK, some UK TV shows, for example. The Office UK is only available in the UK. Also Doctor Who, for example, a famous science fiction series. Of course, then there's special content in Australia, Canada, Mexico, Japan. If you're a fan of hentai, I'm sure in China they have some interesting stuff. In India, Bollywood movies, right? Or if you're interested in French movies, then the French Netflix probably has much more to offer than any other country's Netflix when it comes to French movies. But what's the problem? You know, websites see everything. And if you are in a different country and if you're in a specific country, you can only access the specific country's Netflix. So if you are in France, for example, and you search for Netflix, then you find the French Netflix version. And yes, you can change the language down below to English if you want to. But yeah, in theory, you can log in there and watch the French Netflix. And also, if I check my IP right now, you see it's in France. But that's mostly because I'm using ExpressVPN. And your question was, which VPN works with Netflix and ExpressVPN is one of them. And here I can choose a different location. Let's choose the UK. And by the way, many people make the mistake. They just click on United Kingdom. But um, yeah, you have several different locations. So I take Kent now. Yes, continue. So now I'm entering the internet through the UK. And now if I just try to go to netflix.com, you see I'm automatically redirected to Netflix Great Britain and let's sign in. Before I sign in, I just want to show you below in the description, you find a list with good VPN providers. Just click on show more or if you're watching on a mobile phone or tablet, you can click on the icon below on the right of the video and then you see a full list. My favorite is ExpressVPN anyway. Actually, I get free offers to try different VPNs and after some trying some, I stopped because they always say it, it's working great, but compared to ExpressVPN, it's always more, more of a hassle. So I, I really like ExpressVPN. So I sign in. Anyway, now you can see I'm logged in. And uh, what's strange is that it does not sh show Great Britain here anymore. So um, in theory, I should be in Great Britain right now, but uh, it doesn't show up. But yeah, now I can watch British Netflix. In any case, now let's try to log into the US Netflix. So I'm going away from Europe and I'm choosing the United States. And many people make the mistake, they just click on the United States and then they complain that it's not working. And of course, you should choose like 
if one is not working, choose another one or just choose randomly because like, most people use just the first option, just United States, and then it connects you to New York, I think. So I prefer to use Tampa, for example. So continue, then we're waiting for the connection. And actually, um, you can use ExpressVPN on any device. So if you have Windows, if you have um, Apple, Linux, iOS, you can install it on your internet router. So all your connections will be routed directly through the location you want to. So if you're an expat, you can route everything to a US server and then you can use the normal US internet. You can also just install it on your browser or on your PlayStation, Xbox, Apple TV, and so on. You can install it basically anywhere. They have instructions and software for all those devices. And of course, if you take a 12 month package, it's the cheapest option and they have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you try it and you decide, no, it's not for you, or it's not working for you somehow, then you can go back and um, get your money back. If something's not working down below, you know, here support center, click there, you know, contact them. It's their business to make ExpressVPN work. Also the other VPNs I will recommend have supports where they will help you to set it up. And if it's not working for Netflix, for example, then they will help you. So you can do that. Now I'm connected to the US as you can see. And now I'm going back here and I'm reloading this page. And now you can see now I'm not redirected to Great Britain, but to the official Netflix.com page, the US American page. So now I can sign in there. And now I get some advertising about um, the world's most extraordinary homes and see all the stuff which is available on the US Netflix. And yeah, I started watching the Tony Robbins documentary, but here you can see Lucifer and uh, many other TV shows. Um, and actually, I'm, I don't know exactly which ones are only available in the UK and which ones are only available in the US but you can see that you can access any country Netflix by using ExpressVPN. Of course, it would be advisable if you switch often to uh, clear your cookies in between. Oh, by the way, like before I was in France and now if we update this, actually it says Florida, Miami. So that's how fast you can go to Miami probably already know there are many other advantages of VPNs. Of course, your whole internet is encrypted because usually your Wi-Fi router or your internet router is saving your internet usage history. Your internet service provider can see what you're doing. If you're using public Wi-Fi, hotel Wi-Fi, company Wi-Fi, public Wi-Fi and hotel Wi-Fi can be dangerous because those can be hacked. And also they can see what you're doing on the internet. Um, your company can see what you're doing if you're using their Wi-Fi with your smartphone. Uh, mobile cell towers can see what you're doing. So in theory, if someone hacks in there, then um, yeah, they can see what you're doing and then well, of course, hackers and the government can see what you're doing in many cases, unless it's fully encrypted with the VPN. And then, of course, you can unblock a lot of content. Um, there are a lot of TV channels and services such as Netflix that you can unblock and also circumvent censorship and speed throttling and even get lower prices depending on your location, the Internet or websites show you different prices sometimes. Then there are some disadvantages. Of course, going through an encryption and going through a different server can slow down your internet a little bit. But if you're watching US Netflix from somewhere, then your internet connection has to go to the US anyway. So it's not such a big diversion. But if you're going through some server in Africa, which doesn't have a high speed internet connection or not such high speed, then it might be slower. 
And what kind of ticked me off uh, the first time I, I started to use VPNs is you get this critical security alerts from Google because someone tried to log into your account from Miami, right? But if you remember, I just entered the internet in Miami now in order to watch US Netflix. And if I would go to my Google account now and try to log in, then I would get a critical security alert because you know suddenly I'm in a completely different place and they just try to make sure that my account will not get hacked. So if you get this alert, you know, don't be worried. It's just a normal thing. You use the VPN to enter the internet in a different location. And actually you could even check the IP, just Google show my IP. And then, you know, like mo many services can tell you a lot about your IP and, and location. And then you can check if this IP is the same as in the warning and most likely it is. So you just have to remember that, yeah, it was you that tried to log in from a remote location. In any case, I cannot recommend free VPNs. Just Google why are free VPNs dangerous and you will find a lot of information. I used ExpressVPN because it has great service, super fast servers. It's available in many, many countries and it has many different server locations. As I showed you before, you can choose a lot of different locations in the US. And sometimes in my videos, people write like, hey, ExpressVPN is not working with Netflix. Guess what? If I ask them like which server location you tried, they are just like, well, yeah, I click on US. It's like, yeah, there are like, what, 20, 30 different server locations. Just try several. And if you try several and it's not working, go to ExpressVPN, go to the support center and ask them. They know the best and they can tell you like, hey, okay, you know, this server should work right now for Netflix if you watch, want to watch Netflix or whatever, if you want to watch HBO, Hulu, whatever you want to do with it. But ExpressVPN is not the only VPN that works with Netflix. I will link to several down in the description. So just go down to show more. And I also try to have the prices there. I mean, um, ExpressVPN is one of the most expensive, but basically it's just like one Starbucks coffee away from the other ones. And really, I like their service because the software works, their apps work on my smartphone and tablet and on any device. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or tell me what I could do better if you don't believe me that it's working. I mean, I showed you two examples. I was logging into the UK and the, the US. So uh, you see it's working, I was connected and I hope now you know how to use a VPN to watch Netflix in any country. It does not matter where you got your account because what's important is in which country you are entering Netflix. This is different to HBO and um, other services, but with Netflix you can use any country account to watch any country Netflix if you're using a VPN.